Hello all. Uh, this uh, request video on uh, uh, updating my uh, open box uh, installation in Arch Linux. And um, the desktop you see in the background is GNOME, as you could probably tell. Uh, so I've made some notes um, for a reference and also I can upload them so you can view. And some stuff I'm going to install while I'm recording or whatever and then some stuff well, I'm not, uh, just to speed things up. Most of it's pretty obvious. So first of all, make sure you're logged in as your user and you, whatever, uh, you have uh, your system set up uh, for video and everything working. So I'm assuming you already have Arch installed in other, in other words. And uh, make sure you have uh, Yawart, which is the, uh, command line interface for the Arch Linux user repository so you can grab stuff from there. So uh, with that said, the first thing I'm going to do is prepare for OpenBox. So I'll get my handy zoom in tool, which is a little jittery. Uh, we're just going to make a directory for, uh, for open OpenBox. So of course mkdir uh, dash p and this, these file, this these file directories don't exist yet, so dot config, simple enough, and then a slash open box. And then we'll just call down open box. And as I mentioned before, I use aliases for pseudo pacman dash capital S. So the only alias I use is pac. So, okay, so I'm just gonna grab open box. And there's nothing on here, so it pulled down a few extra things as well. So I'll let that uh, download. And uh, you want to get Python 2-XDG as well. I forgot to put that. I'll put that in the notes. Uh, for auto-starting, some programs will auto-start without having to configure the auto-start in OpenBox. So hope that makes sense. To uh, dash at xdg. Now with uh, some of that downloaded, uh, I'm going to clear the screen and we're going to copy the open box configuration files to the new uh, configuration directory just made. So it's copy etsy xdg slash open box and then an asterisk for all to our dot config open box directory. All right. And a few things to download now are uh, OB configuration, OB comp, um, and uh, LX appearance, dash OB comp. And then this part here, you can decide if you want to use Sunar or PC Man. Sunar is fine for me, and uh, get its relevant stuff uh, such as volume manager, uh, that's for C drives, USB, whatever. Um, the archive plugin, uh, GBFS, the uh, GNOME file system, you need that for, uh, again, for volume management. And uh, XFCE4 panel, again, you can replace that with a dock or Alex panel or whatever you want. I'm going to use XFCE4 terminal and I'm going to get the whisker menu plugin and a few other things. So, so OBConf, Alex appearance, OBConf, and soon I to start with. Okay. Okay, so with a whole bunch of stuff installed, I'll move on to get some uh, user repository things. And on this side here, it's loca locale purge is handy for clearing out language packs you don't need. Uh, the OB key, I get the JIT version uh, to help with the, your keyboard shortcuts. Compton for some background transparency, basically, and other things. And GTK scene dash config. Uh, just again for some effects, uh, colors and stuff. So I'll grab those and I'll be back in a sec. So those are downloaded and compiled and ready to go. So we'll move on to uh, copying uh, some stuff from the Etsy XDG directory, such as uh, the Compton config example. It's good enough to get started. Uh, you can mess around with it. And I just done come, I just uh, take out the shadow. I just change it to false and then uh, edit the uh, auto start and then uh, 
grab our X in the RC and tell it to start open box dash session. So I'll demonstrate that. So we'll just, uh, what's the first one? Okay. So copy XC, XDG, Compton config example to dot config uh, Compton dot CONF. Then we just nano uh, dot config Compton dot CONF. And shadow, I just uh, changed that to false. That's all. I find it a little overbearing, even though a lot of this, the way it's set up, is kind of overbearing. But, oops, be nice if I learn how to spell. Control O to write out. Control X to quit. Enter and quit. And what else do we need? So nano or uh, our uh, dot config open box auto start okay zoom in on that and we're going to add uh, xfce4 panel and compton so to give an example here just arrow key down and put in xfce4 dash panel and the ampersand and compton dash B to run background and another ampersand and that's it for that so we'll save and quit and finally we'll grab our uh, X in it RC and edit that so we can start open box so CP Etsy X capital X 11 X in it and X in it RC to dot X in it RC and we just nano that dot x in it rc and uh, we'll go down page down and where it says twm the tiling the basic window manager for zorg um we'll just uh, type in exec open box uh dash session and write out and quit clear the screen zoom out and start x x going to ask for uh, the first panel startup and uh, I'm just going to choose one empty panel you see there's a uh, transparency from the Compton going on already so I'm just going to move that guy down the bottom just right click and go panel preferences span that to the whole length of the bottom make this a little smaller say 30 or so and lock the panel now uh, appearance and you can do what you wish here if you want some transparency and of course that you can add your items such as uh, the clock add notification area add separator add uh, whisker menu and window buttons and we'll just move these around the arrow key up uh, separator bring just up above and I forgot to add the window buttons I thought I did well add and bring that up just above the separator oops and separator edit uh, transparent expand Oop. close you see uh, uh, download a parcel at the clipboard manager uh, it's already auto started so that's why you get the Python 2 XDG uh, notification area There's nothing in there yet but I'm just gonna uh, untick show frame and the window buttons uh, don't show the handle and show flat buttons and we should be able to close close and we have our menu base uh, whisker menu and I like to set it up such as uh, transparency down to approximately 70 that's up to you behavior I tick all of these options um, I wish there was a, make, a way to make this zero on recently used, but at the lowest you can go is five. Uh, command, well, we don't have mugshot, we don't have menu Libra. Logout is going to be um, OB. Logout, if I got that, or, I'm not sure. I better check. <laughs> Low B, log out. Um, switch users, no. 
lock screen no so all we have is a log up button okay and that's it so let's take a look okay all right so we have a functioning uh open box desktop session uh, the whisker menu we have uh, access to a terminal or a file manager which is sunar and uh, a few other things so let's uh configure some keyboard shortcuts so that's under settings open box key bindings and it's a little strange at first to look at it you haven't used it before but um it's not too hard to use so we just click this to add insert sibling keyboard keybind sorry so the obligatory control alt t for the terminal and we'll change this to i'm sorry i'll zoom in um change this to c dash a dash small t press enter and down here we just click the add and it changes to focus and you click on where it says focus and it has this pop-up menu and we want to change it to ex execute and I don't know why it does this, but it's hidden up here. I have to grab it and drag it down. <laughs> and uh, the command will be xfce 4 terminal, for example, or whatever terminal you're going to use. Termin and tab enable and just call it terminal. And you just click save. And then there's the power button to quit. So. Control Alt T. There's our uh, terminal working. And for the menu, uh, it's XFCE4 dash pop up dash whisker menu. And I just chose Control, I mean Alt M. Uh, it's because the if I hit the super key in GNOME, it's going to override that. So you can change that on your. Uh, if you don't have a super key, it's going to override. Okay, so just save and exit. So a uh, quick recap on that. Uh, Alt Home, Alt H, Alt H, sorry, is a uh, Thunar. Control Alt T is Terminal. Control Alt N is Leafpad, and Alt L is OB Logout, which you can fix in a little bit to make it look a little different. Okay, so moving along, uh, let's get some icon sets and and so on. Uh, these are all in the default repository in Arch Linux, the mate themes, extras, and fans, icon themes. So, um, oops, take a little bit of time to download and install. So, uh, let's change things up a bit. Um, I'm going to, I usually make a sim link to OpenBox from the home folder. So, just open a terminal and uh, ln, oops, ln s dot config open open box to you can call it what you want just call it open box oh, open box sir huh? and we get out of there and there's our link there so now we can go to our open box folder and we're going to edit the menu xml i suggest making a backup though so open terminal again and we'll just copy menu dot xml zoom in again sorry uh to menu xml dot back just in case okay and open that with uh, leaf pad uh, the main one and what I'm going to do is I have one that I made from before uh, to just trim this down quite a bit so I'll just take this whole thing I'm going to copy it and press control a and delete everything here and paste that in you can right click on uh, system reconfigure open box well, let's right click again there we go so we have like a change the wallpaper uh, with nitrogen don't have any wallpapers yet uh, run a command uh, GM run and of course open terminal and logout is OB logout and for a browser I just download uh, chromium so you can go to your preferences here and settings and uh, use GTK theme and use the uh, home button and system style so it makes it look a little kind of neat and then you do have the right click to open chromium and there we go so you can hardly tell it's open box now <laughs> uh, for the uh, 
whisker uh, button you can change there's a nice arch uh, icon under uh oh it's the problem with themes is sometimes uh, you can't see under location icons uh, distributor arch logo click OK and close this there we go and press alt M brings up uh, the whisker menu and toggles actually now since uh, we're using LX appearance um, it creates a GTKRC control H and you can see it's right here if you open it it says include this dot gtkrc dash 2.0 dot mine so you just uh, attempt to copy that <laughs> control c is easier and we'll just uh, right click a new empty file and paste that in oh, take out that quotation and create all right um, also to is open a terminal here and we'll just copy that one as well because if you mess around with uh, the GTK theme configurator it's going to uh, take all the theming away so you have to uh, take the backup file and copy things over uh, so you get the theme back and then put the mime uh, the GTK theme into the mime GTK directory if that makes sense <laughs> so anyway copy gtkrc to dot gtkrc dot back so you can uh, uh, make make a whisk the whisker menu a different uh, theme if you wish for example new mix dark and you put that in that uh, dot mine file so you can save and quit and log out we'll take a look at our panel all right, let's fix the uh, clock here. It's the wrong time, of course. So you get to the network manager stuff, and then we'll just enable two services: sudo system ctl, uh, enable network manager. That's in capital capital N, capital M, and NTP D. So system sudo system ctl enable NTP D service and uh, just do a reboot and this time should be fixed up all right uh, let's get to the ob logout configuration file so just open the terminal and uh, sudo leafpad etsy ob logout dot c o n f all right and i've looked around for there isn't too many scenes but there is one called f o o m <laughs> and whatever you want here um, I usually don't have suspend or hibernate or lock and I think that should be it it's very fairly straightforward to configure so I just save and quit you can test it out alt L there we go just something uh, different that's all and I have a video on this uh, for the infinality font rendering it's uh, right here I'll put a link in the description and uh, it'll fix up the the way the fonts look uh, quite a bit. Should they should look quite a bit better? Uh, one thing I suggest uh, using a browser and so on is uh, just open a terminal, and we'll get the uh, TTF dash liberation. So just follow through that video and uh, configure the uh, infinality font bundle. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back when uh, that's finished. All right, so uh, that should wrap it up for this one. I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, any questions or comments, of course, always feel free to add. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.